Monaco could leapfrog fifth place Montpellier when the pair clashed at the Stade Louis Dieu on Friday night. Robert Moreno survived a sticky start to record his first league wins as ASM boss and boosted by the return of Islam Slamani to the starting 11. The Algerian, the perfect foil for Liga Conferama top scorer Wissam Ben Yedder of the Principality's 40 league goals. The pair had scored or assisted 36. Montpellier with fourth in sight, but Michel de Zacharain without suspended Andy Delors or Geronimo Rulli. And it was second choice goalkeeper Dimitri Berto who had to be helped out by his defence. Slamani, who scored the 90th minute winner against Amiens, denied by Arnold Suke on the line. Steven Jovetic kick started Monaco's recent renaissance with the winner against Angers, and the Montenegrin was whiskers away from adding to that strike. Injuries meaning he's only made 29 appearances in three campaigns with the club, but close to netting a 13th goal. Montpellier yet to stir, but with just one win in their past 12 on the road, goalless at the break suited the visitors. The Payad actually unbeaten in five league matches with Monaco. 40-year-old captain Hilton even leading them to victory on their last visit to the Principality. Jovetic and co aiming to break the deadlock in search of a third successive Liga and Conferama win. And it fell to the main man on the return, Slimani, with his eighth of the season. The Algerian finding the net in his last three league appearances, a first in his career in one of the top five European leagues. Gaetan Labor scored the winner between the sides when they last met at the Stade Louis Dieu. The striker on the line, but unable to stop Slimani doing likewise. Otia Mue Bakayoko was bullish post-match about Monaco's hopes of a Chabi's League return. There was certainly plenty of conviction about this left-footed thunderbolt. But the bar coming to Bertrand's rescue there. Golovan with the cutback. Ben Yedder letting off. Bakayoko hugely unlucky. Ben Yedder unable to add to his tally of 16, but maybe Keita Baldi expected the league's top scorer to be more greedy. Asel Gliese needed an excuse for that shocking miss. No wonder he's on a five-match goal drought as it continues for the ex-Inter forward, who maybe couldn't believe his luck. Monaco could have added to their goal difference, but one was enough to earn Moreno a third successive winner's boss and propel ASM above Montpellier and with the view of the podium in sight.